and is back to work today. Actually, I did have that shift at Home Depot, but I don't really consider my work days with Home Depot like a regular work day because it's... I don't know, I was doing a lot of this thing called facing where you bring like a lot of the products to the front so that it's facing the edge and it's easily accessible rather than like people grab the f first few and then it's just all the way in the back. So I was doing a lot of that with um, the blinds and making sure they were in the correct place. I was supposed to print out some labels for these ones that um, didn't have the price tag on them. I forgot. <laughs> But it's anyway. a beautiful day here in California. Doesn't feel like winter at all, but it's in the 50s. Why does my Your eyes look so weird? Uh, anyway, I was just, I just got done with that 10 o'clock job, which only took me like 45 minutes to fix everything. So that's good. Um, there was um, tightening screws, popping in hinges that just popped off. Uh, looking at these blinds that have a cord and these like two metal gears kind of like grind in on the cord in order to lift up and with like with long-term use strings get kind of too smooth and then the metal can't grip on enough to keep them lifted up so i added a little bit of wood glue like from ikea you know those like really thin white ones not like the wood glue from the yellowy ones that I have just so it causes a little bit of friction and yeah I was just like I'll get like some kind of silicone or something and um, hope that that gives the strings some kind of resistance. I ate some stone oven because I've been like eating at home and I don't know. I don't know why I'm trying to justify it, but I really wanted stone oven sandwiches. Sandwiches. So I ordered two. <laughs> and I ate one and a half already. Now I have Kanak Attack. But I did some research. I feel good about it. <coughs> Red to black. Blue to purple. Black to black. White to white. Green to green. I finally received the Johnson Closet Tracks yesterday. It came with hardware. I'm installing them tomorrow. So I have the measurements here that I took from the, the client's closet. The doors are 36 inches wide, 93 inches tall, and they are an inch and three eighths thick. And then the closet opening, like, from the floor to the inside of the, you know, where the current tracks are, it is only 94 inches and three quarters tall. So we only have wiggle room of an inch and three quarters. A so Home Depot <laughs> associate actually helped me. They're like, oh, if you get the Johnson ones, um, as compared to, as opposed to like the Everbuilt uh, brand, these will hold a lot more weight. So um, according to the Everbuilt Associate, and uh, not, not Everbuilt, Johnson Associate and the website, I think these hold up to like 200 pounds maybe. There's like a 125 to a 200, there's even 400 pounds max. So these are a lot more um, sturdy. So the Johnson one comes with this little instruction manual because the doors are an inch and three eighths thick. I will be following third diagram. Inch and three eighths thick door. You have to have half an inch of space between the tracks. Oh, okay. So when I install the tracks, the wheels will already be inside the tracks. And then while swinging around, I will use this, the inch and a quarter pan head screws to install it to the ceiling or the door frame and then mount the finger plates to the door which are easy. I don't know how people do this like new construction I feel like doing it doing everything from scratch there's probably pros and cons to it but I feel like there's so much more thinking I'm not I... Ready. I'm gonna give myself credit it's okay it took me an 
almost two hours to build this Target. You know that Target brand? A mask pimple. Anyway, I just got back from my three o'clock curtain rod job. <sighs> that took me way longer than I had expected. But anyway, I'm here to cut the rod and I don't have, I only have one clamp and I don't have like a work table. So I'm gonna measure 69. Like so with a Sharpie. took me three minutes. The shortest three minutes of my life. Oh my God, it's a mess in here. But I wanted to also go through these guys. This is for the faucet that I removed the other day. And the reason why we had to do that was because when you turn on the water and you press without pressing the button, it will come out in spray mode, not the tap mode oh my god that looks disgusting but anyway um i tried to fix it the button wouldn't stay so they were like okay let's just replace the whole faucet all together i was like okay this was the nut that was underneath the sink basin look how scratched up it is because i tried to do use the water pump pliers and i could not get it to spin all the way down this threaded pipe so what i ended up doing was this sink, or oh, this faucet was like up against the wall, right? There's like a wall behind this thing. So this whole, this part will not spin freely. But because of this, because it looked like, you know, it's so hard to do with one hand, right? Like this, and this part too. Um, but once I pulled this out and actually just pulled right out i was able to use this part to um loosen loosen this underneath the sink but the sink would be right here right the countertop all of this is underneath so by using this which is why it's all scratched up i was able to spin it from the top and get it all down this all these threads by the way, this is the faucet that I got from Home Depot for them. And it was like 180 or something like that. Um, I'm just trying to see what I can keep from here. I don't think anything. I think I used everything else. But yeah, I'm gonna trash this now. Thank you. I just retouched my makeup for my 5.30 job because it's raining outside and I look behind me one baby two baby hi sleepy dark shoes on because the only waterproof shoes I have so cute you know what I was thinking like leaving the house with like hardly any cell phone battery but anyway i just got done with a giant furniture assembly job all ikea mostly hems and this like really cool like closet wardrobe situation happy last day of 2021 i just got done with the two jobs that i booked today and one was this morning from 9 to 11 which was to put up an electrical fixture and then a bunch of like putting up little hooks, towel rack, things like that. A 12 o'clock job, which was to replace one light fixture, which was only 35 minutes.
Man, I'm not sure how effective this recap is gonna be. But I wanted to film a little recap. The Johnson tracks went fine, it went well. Um, my only worry is that because the door mounting hardware goes on the very top, that those screws will loosen and come out of like the foamy part of the top of the door. And I had nightmares just thinking about it before I had to actually install it because I paid $140 for shipping and for the tracks and I was afraid that the client wasn't gonna pay me. She still hasn't paid me yet, but she's a mom with a young kid, young baby, and I think she's just busy. She usually takes about a week to pay me, so I'm not too, too worried. I'm just glad I was able to successfully execute the job. So my three months to have a consistent day off, I think I just like figured out a consistent work schedule. So it's, I try to do it for a little while, but I don't have it anymore. But I'm like, I like having something to do. So I pretty much work every day. Now, read more, kind of a fail, but that's okay. Six months going back to trade school, still couldn't find a class that was gonna have laboratory settings. I signed up for that one school. I didn't get any registration information or anything like that after I thought I registered. So, Working for Home Depot is like my new learning. Um, created a self-employment pension with your betterment. Sent a Colorado care package, which I wanted to do. So I was able to successfully do that. Um, my one year goal was to get a thousand subscribers. I did that. Dog training, that's pretty much ongoing. My long-term goal is still to build my own house and then build houses for the elderly so that's kind of ongoing i'm always thinking about that empower teach women uh handiwork i think i kind of i didn't teach but i did meet that female tasker i gave her a bunch of my spare tools and spare hardware and stuff like that so that kind of goes towards it i think i don't know i applied for an apartment in another state so i hope that i get accepted and I hope that I can get started on my moving journey to moving out of California. And uh, I think that's it for this video. Oh, I watched Moneyball and it, last night and it really inspired me. It really Happy New me. Year. Hope you guys all have a wonderful night, wonderful day. And here's to 2022. Peace. with the my car right it like clips onto the back and uh, like it closes the trunk the little trunk space that I have it covers my tool bag do I need this like my car is already tinted my back windows my uh, driver and passenger side window for from what I understand it has legal tinting I bought it like that. I wouldn't have wanted it like that. It just came like that. So do I need this to cover? Like, it's just annoying to have. Can I just throw this away? <laughs> Someone want this? <laughs>